Hi guys, I'm Pete from Don't Tell The Wife and this time I've got something just a little bit special to show you. This is the Tanaka M29, made famous by Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry films. This is the limited edition collector's piece and as it's made by Tanaka you're guaranteed to have good quality throughout. The gun itself comes in this beautiful wooden display case. On top you have got a metal plaque with Dirty Harry engraved right in the middle of it. Around the outside there is also other engravings in keeping with the films. The display case is hinged at the back and at the front you have got a metal fastener which just gives you a really satisfying click every time you open it. Inside the box you get this blue fabric padding. Now it's on the lid and it's in the base as well so there is plenty of protection for everything that's supplied inside this case. Along with the gun you do get this 15 round basic speed loader. A bag of BBs that I still personally wouldn't use through this gun. They also provide you with this little green gas adapter. Now you do need this if you want to fill the gun up properly with your gas. Now it also comes with this metal inspector badge that Dirty Harry would have. It's got Dirty Harry's correct police number on there and if you want to you can actually pin it to yourself. There is a fastener at the back. The M29 in the box comes with a 6.5 inch long barrel. Now the gun itself is completely made out of metal with the exceptions of the grips. The grips itself are made out of real wood and the detailing both on the grip and the gun are incredible. Everything is where it should be. The trigger and hammer operate just as they should. You can use this as a single or a double action trigger, there is no problems there at all. Cocking it back and it reveals very little trigger pull to actually release a shot. And as you cock the gun it does also spin that barrel as you'd expect on most revolvers. Along the top you have got some basic iron sights. The front iron sight is of course fixed and the rear iron sight has got all the adjustments that you need. And the way they've done this, lining up your shots really quickly is quite easy to do. On the body of the revolver you have got this sliding switch. Push it one way and it activates a safety so you can't cock that hammer back. Push it the other way and it releases the cylinder. Now unlike most airsoft revolvers on this one you can't actually remove the shells and load them up one by one. This however has a fixed shells inside it. The outer side of the cylinder does rotate but inside is fixed. At the back you can see they've got some nice detailing on the rounds but there is one that says gas on it and that, once you've lined up, is where you fill it up. At the front of the cylinder is actually where your magazine is. Now it's got an inbuilt and what people say is 14 rounds but I could only guess about 5 or 6 in this. But the really clever part about this is every time the cylinder rotates you actually load the next shot in. So you can see how this works and it's actually really incredible so you get a lot more shots than the standard revolver. For the chrono, I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and 144A Abbey gas. So, to sum up, this is definitely a must have for any Dirty Harry fan or even anyone who just loves revolvers. It's beautifully built, it's got plenty of detail on it, it feels really nice in the hand, it's well balanced and it just shoots so well. Only problem I can see with this is it's actually quite a fingerprint magnet so you are going to spend forever cleaning it. Other than that it's beautiful displayed or out on the field. Personally, I wouldn't take this out on the field because I don't think they're actually making these anymore. As always, if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.